Welcome Crescenders! So finally we are going to complete the castle that we started for 5 days ago. Remember that we spent around 30 minutes on creating everything till the first slide. So we will be jumping in and just creating the rest of the slides within 30 minutes. So how we can do that, I'm gonna show you on my PC. So let's jump right into my computer. Okay, so we are on my computer. And before jumping in, I want to uh, clear four things up before we start actually creating the carousel. Okay, number one is do not copy text from someone else. Okay, if someone else, some some other creators is already doing that, then don't actually get into that. You already have, you are a creator. If you consider yourself as a creator, you need to make your own content. That would be the first thing. The second thing is uh, do not worry if you are having a lot of value to give. And it will be like jam packed cars, and that's completely fine. But one thing that you need to keep in mind is leave some space, okay, for readers to go through the whole thing. Make a flow. If you organize the things well, then it will be looking good. And the third thing is you have to keep like um, the text that you will be using. The folder font you can use that, and the other font would be the body font. It has to be really not not that messy, like Comic Sans or. Uh, signature text we do not have to use that we will be using some really good ones I don't really know much about uh, fonts but I use Proxima Nova and that looks really amazing so three things that you need to keep in mind okay so let's jump into the computer and we are gonna start designing the thing now okay so the background that we will be using the background has to be really uniform with all the other slides as well Okay, so what we can, what we are gonna do is just copy, select all these ones, and then merge these layers, and press Ctrl J, and just paste it in the next slide. So here we go. We have already copied the background on each and every slide. What we can do is it's looking too bright. So what we can simply do is add a curve layer and then decrease the brightness a bit okay so this one looks cool and then we can simply copy it on each slide as well here we go we have added the curves there so that the brightness is really low and this, now what we can do is we can just copy this picture because since uh, this picture is not complete so we can just click on this picture okay and we can Press Shift and Alt and then drag it to the next slide. Okay, Shift and Alt, then we'll be dragging it to the next slide. And then we'll simply be adjusting it. Done. Okay, that's all. How easy it is. Here we go. <laughs> this is so easy on how you can create a seamless carousel on Photoshop. So, next thing is we'll be writing the copy now first in the first slide we actually baited people in so we will be telling them what they are they could expect from this whole carousel so we can write something like there are so there are three ways to get 200 followers daily on instagram okay so this can be a really good one to increase the curiosity of people so what we will be doing is we'll be putting it down below the uh, image actually made and then we'll be resizing it okay, a bit and here we go we can simply add some line above it just look good that's it Here we go. We will be then highlighting the points. Suppose there are three ways. We will be highlighting that. And then 200 followers. Here we go. Then what we can do is simply put an arrow in over here so that it just attracts people to the next slide. That's it, not, not bigger purpose.
here we go now in order to have a list of things what we can simply do is either we can put out circle headings or we can put out rectangle headings so we can do both but that totally depends upon how creative you can be in terms of presentation so So then, now we'll be just uh, pulling out the three ways. Now there are three ways with which you can do that. Number one is uh, this is what I call shout out credits. This is a really cool way. Many people are doing it right now. Second method is paid, paid traffic. Everybody knows about it. Third one is organic. So we are done. Now we will be describing each and every part. Okay. So I will be writing the copy completely, and then I'm gonna talk about what I wrote and how I wrote that. So see you after a while. I will be just uh, skipping the whole thing up in order to reduce this time like that we are investing over here. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so we have already completed everything like having an all the message from slide 1 to slide 9. Uh, what I basically did is, uh, I just kept on writing about the things that I just mentioned earlier. Shout out credits, what are shout out credits and how people can achieve through step by step guide. Now this is something that I talked about earlier in this video. That you need to give out something that people could get benefits from right away after reading this. So this can be really good. So this can be really good, and uh, because people will be getting some value out of it, no matter how lengthy it is and how lengthy it seems. Because I just wanted to give almost everything that I know. So I couldn't actually give everything, but uh, I think it makes sense. And in the last slide, what we, what we need to do is write a question. Remember the call to action question that we discussed while designing the last slide. So here we go, it will be something that is related to the topic, now how you are growing. Now what we can simply write over here is, which method do you use? It is, keep the question really simple, because nobody wants to complicate, like uh, nobody wants to answer complicated question. So you have to keep it really short and simple for people to understand and write the answer to. Okay, so here we go. We have designed the whole site. I'll be putting this um, carousel on my other account that is Chrisigners. So you can check that out over there. And if you like this video, then hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel because from the next video, I have one good news for you. I'll be putting out on how you can create premium carousels and how you can monetize the carousels, how you can charge premium amount for your carousels, and what are the content strategy you need to build in order to have a perfect carousel that actually sells stuff. So I will be putting out that from the next video. 
uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also push the bell, I bell notification on so that you never miss a video from me. So I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, stay home and keep creating for a change.